my steps to the altar of gold. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. I'll turn my steps to the altar of gold. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. Show your justice in Leading my course, let me walk in the way of your love. I'll turn my steps to the altar of gold. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my love. I'll turn my steps to the altar of gold. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, Jealousy is a disease, is a sickness which all of us go through. As human beings, all of us have got this sickness or disease of jealousy. Today's word of God reminds us or tells us how to overcome jealousy. We can overcome jealousy only with the help of God. A person who lives with God or in the grace of God can overcome jealousy. As we take part in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask God to cleanse our hearts, to make us clean of jealousy that we may ascend his altar with a clean heart, with a clean mind. And with a contrite heart for the times that we have failed, that we have allowed jealousy to destroy our lives for the times that we have allowed jealousy to destroy others. Let us ask God for forgiveness. I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, when David returned from striking down the Philistine, the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the women sang to one another as they celebrated. Saul has struck down his thousands and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very angry, and this saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And Saul kept an eye on David, from that day on. And Saul spoke to Jonathan his son and to all his servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, Saul, my father, seeks to kill you. Therefore, be on your guard in the morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will speak to my father about you. <clears throat> and if I learn anything, I will tell you. And Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul his father and said to him, let not the king sin against his servant David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have brought good to you. For he took his life in his hand, and he struck down the Philistine. And the Lord worked a great salvation for all Israel. <clears throat> you saw it and rejoiced. Why then will you sin against innocent blood by killing David without cause? And Saul listened to, to the voice of Jonathan. Saul saw, as the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. And Jonathan called David. And Jonathan reported to him all these things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, in God I trust, I shall not fear. It's in God I trust, I, trust, I, I shall, shall not fear. fear. Have mercy on me, O God, for people assail me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. My foes assail me all day long. Many fight proudly against me. Response. In, in God, God I, I trust, shall, I shall not, not fear. fear. You have kept an account of my wanderings. You have placed my tears in your flask. Are they not recorded in your book? Then my foes will turn back on the day when I call to you. Response, in God I trust, I shall not fear. Thus I know that God is on my side, in God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise. Response, in God, I, in God I, I trust, trust I, I shall, shall not fear. fear. In God I trust, I shall not fear. What can man do to me? I am bound by the vows I have made you. O God, I will offer you praise. Response. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Acclamation.
our Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea, and a great crowd followed from Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and Idumea and from beyond the Jordan, and from around Tyre and Sidon. When the great crowd heard all that he was doing, they came to him, and he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him, because of the crowd, lest they crush him, for he had healed many, so that all who had diseases pressed around him to touch him. And whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. And he strictly ordered them not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I trust in the Lord, I shall not fear. Those who trust in the Lord, they have no fear of men. We see how David who was chosen by God, trusts in the Lord. Saul, the king of Israel, because of jealousy, he wants to kill David. But David has God with him. The son of Saul, Jonathan, who actually would have been the next king of Israel, the crown prince we call, he should have been more jealous of David. But that does not happen. Jonathan, the son of King Saul, is a good friend of David because Jonathan has come to know that David is a man of God. Jonathan has realized that the Spirit of God is with David. And that's why he respects the plan of God. He becomes obedient to the plan of God. He is not jealous that God wants David to succeed his father Saul as king of Israel. He is not jealous about that. The first reading of today tells us Jonathan will try to protect, will save David. Whenever Saul wants to kill him, Jonathan will try to protect him. It is said, David and Jonathan they loved each other because they had the same spirit of God. Jonathan, the son of Saul, was also a man of faith, a man of God. The spirit of God was also with Jonathan. But on the other hand, we see King Saul 
with whom there is no spirit of God. He is only concerned about his kingship, his kingdom. But David and Jonathan, we see how they are filled with the spirit of God. It is only with the spirit of God that they fight against Saul. They fight against the jealousy of King Saul. My dear sisters and brothers, we see how jealousy, which is a disease, a sickness, kills. It is said, jealousy is a murderer. Jealousy is murderous. Jealousy kills. Jealousy kills not only the person who is jealous about someone or something, but jealousy also kills the other person of whom you are jealous. All of us, because of the weakness of our flesh, sometime or the other, we become victims of jealousy. The devil tempts us and we fall prey to this sickness, to this disease of jealousy. And when a human being becomes jealous, he kills his own self because he is insecure. A human being, when he becomes jealous, he kills relationships, he kills communities, he destroys. Jealousy can destroy a human being. Jealousy can destroy a family. Jealousy can destroy a community. Jealousy can destroy the church. Jealousy destroys relationships, neighborhoods. That is the power of jealousy. But then, Jesus, it is said, has overcome jealousy. Just as David and Jonathan could fight jealousy only with the Spirit of God, we see also Jesus in the New Testament who has overcome death. It is said, Jesus has overcome death. Jealousy brings death. Jesus has taught us how to overcome death. As we come before the altar today, my dear friends, let us ask God to give all of us a clean heart, a clean mind, so that the sacrifice that we offer to God may become acceptable to Him. May God cleanse our hearts and minds with the blood of His Son, Jesus, so that we may become pure. We may be cleansed of the disease, the sickness of jealousy. For the offertory, we shall take the hymn B35, we offer you. We offer you, O Lord divine, a humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, to thee. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. Oh, take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O oh Lord. Take all we have, make them thine. Pray, 
my dear brethren, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, 
your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with of pope francis and philip nadia bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god and with the blessed apostle and with all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages may we merit to the cohere of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. formed by our savior's command and by his divine teachings let us all together say our father, our father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us joyfully offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb, lamb of god, god you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us, us. Lamb, lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are we called to share in the supper of the lamb lord, lord i am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under my under roof, roof but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed spiritual communion prayer by jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion we shall take the hymn N26 I surrender all Oh 
to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him in His presence Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may the almighty lord bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen let us go forth to love and serve the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god for the recessional hymn we shall take x23 put on the armor Christ, build up your strength in the Lord, God yourself with this truth, carry faith as a shield, the good news is hold in your heart, let your lights be good and your lamps alive, waiting for the Lord when the Master comes. May he find you watching when he returns. He'll come like a thief in the night. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ. Build up your strength in the Lord. God yourself with his truth. Carry faith as a shield. The good news is all in your hands. 